Hello and welcome travellers, it is good to see you here. Welcome aboard, we're starting our very first episode um, of our weekly top six, or however many I decide at the time, games of the week. Uh, we're currently playing Overwatch as Soldier 76 on McCree's map, Route 66. Welcome. Uh, this this end was crazy, as you can clearly see. It's there was so much happening. I was I was missing a little bit, but look, it it worked out fine at the end. I thought that would go under. Uh, well, it didn't actually. Spoiler alert. Um, it was such a it was such a clutch. Look, there's no one here. There's no one here. Um, and then we think we've got it. We're all amassed, and then this happens. And our Reinhardt just can't get there on time. It was it was so gut wrenching. It's crazy. Look at them. Look how good, look how happy they are. Number six. Moving up. Same map. Uh, this time we're attacking. It. I, I've never really used Hanzo before. So this was. This was totally new to me. Um, this is like one of the, the few attempts that I've actually tried with him. Uh, as you can see, like I'm, I'm missing quite a bit, but at the same time, for me, this was at, like a really good game. This was actually a bit crazy. Um, there's just so much happening. I think that it's a good time to pull that off, and it actually turns out that I, I trapped the Zenyatta right where he is. Get the McCree just before he, he uh, flashbangs me. That was, that was lucky guys, let's be honest. I'm having so much trouble hitting this, this goddamn soldier. It's like the complete reverse, that was me last round. I <laughs> get a lucky headshot on Zenyatta. Final kill on Roadhog. I got my ult again, and I'm pretty sure I miss everyone. Yeah, that was, it was just a complete waste of an, of an ult. Boom! We did it! Done. Number five. Now, as we move on to five, Lucio is another character that I haven't used much at all. Like this is this is some really rookie rookie stuff right here. But playing against him, you know, I get bumped off all the time. So to get that kill right there was absolutely groundbreaking for me. It, it never happened before, um, and I was just so stoked with myself. And I was like, yeah. I'm gonna keep this up when I absolutely block. And oh my god. So right there. That was just unexpected and I, I didn't actually think that I'd get be able to get back out of the well. Um, for most players that would be easy, but for me that was actually something something special. Number four. Now this this one's a little different. I've played Soldier 76 quite a bit. Um, we're here on Dorado, and uh, we're almost finished pushing the payload, and this is the first time that I ever get uh, an ult from Ana. Just, it's so powerful. Just from that one ult, I think I took out three, maybe four enemy players. And <laughs> as you can see, I just type it straight into the chat. Um, that was crazy. Um, you don't need to see it again though, so. Number three. So, with this uh, this map, we're here as Reaper. Uh, we're back on Dorado, and this time we're defending instead of attacking. Uh, this may have been the same instance. Sadly, there's no audio for this one, and um, I can't tell you why. And I'm just sitting here in the background, waiting for my opportunity to strike. Uh, it's it's so hard, and I think. <laughs> There's only one person I have to go for, and that's Mercy, and I absolutely fail. And, uh, as you can see, Zara's right there behind me. She wants my blood. Look! Look down there. Look how much health I have. She just misses. This next ex exchange is, is absolutely pitiful. Um, and I think I started laughing at one stage. It's, it's not good. Ah, uh, I just get the health. On 20, look, oh my god, it's so, so tense. 
finally she dies, um, and that has to, that has to be one of the, the craziest exchanges I've, I've had. Um, it took so long to kill her. That was that was awful of me. Number two. All right, back here again with Reaper. Um, my plays aren't the best, but I do try and take this out for the team. The turret goes. I think I look back to the Mercy just to make sure that she knows where I am. She's followed me, so I make sure that she's followed me. We're here on King's Row, and I kind of do this signature thing where I get up here, and then I teleport. And I actually look back to make sure that the Mercy can follow me. She doesn't, so then I decide to move on, almost getting away with it. Um, we're here in the back. I'm checking who's on the team. Mercy's there, she's back in here with me, which is like a godsend. So this is the reason the clip is, is so interesting for me, is because that Mercy actually is now tethered to me. So she, she actually does a, an absolutely wonderful job. She's back in the back, she knows that she can't move out any further, we'll both get killed. I move back. We're on opposite sides of the doorway. And I'm thinking, what can I do? Like, what can I do? And then I realise that she's start, starting to get hit, so... Most of the time you think, you know, if you're Mercy, you know that you're stuck because someone's behind you. There's nothing you can do. Like, usually the person just doesn't doesn't realise. She's back there with me. She's helping me out. And then I decide, no, nah, like, there's too many of them. I'm going to pull back. Like, that's Reaper's role, you know? He, um, he's more of a hit-and-run kind of guy. That's what his, his shadow step, I may have made that up, is for. His, his right, uh, his shift, sorry. Mercy's still with me, like, usually she's out there helping the entire team. So this is what I'm talking about, this is crazy. Like, what a run, she's still there helping me. Basically the only reason I got through all of that was because of Mercy. So, um, usually like a, a Mercy doesn't stick to you for that long, but she did and it was, it was so good to have that help. Number one. Alright guys, now this is number one. We're here at Lijiang Tower, following Lucio. Guys, this isn't a play of the game, this is a misplay, and those are the best. That's why this one's at number one. It actually made me laugh out loud. It uh, may not make you, but for me, this was a highlight. This was great to see. Right there. He just goes straight off the edge. Now you say, hey. This has happened before, Hawk. What's going on? Yes. Like, that, that's not the first time this has happened. Well, just keep your eye on that Reinhardt, guys. He's one tricky guy. You can't trust him within an inch of his own life. Here he is again. Not much longer. Well, not much later, sorry. I think he's going to kill me at this point. But no, he doesn't seem to see me, or he doesn't seem to think I'm a threat. But then he decides I am. <laughs> and pays the price for it. There he goes again, he types it straight into the chat. Poor guy, it's just not his day. There he is again. Just keep your eye on him, alright? Oh! He's gone. He's gone. We only saw him for about three seconds and he was off the edge again. This is a separate incident sometime later and you think, guys, he's got us, we're screwed. What? This poor guy, that's his fourth time. He he can't stay on the map. Maybe there's something at the bottom of the cliff that's really, really interesting. Well guys, there you have it. The top six of this week, the highlights of the week. Stick around though, we have a sneak peek of next week.